Tell me how you got interested in the field of space exploration and development. So it starts with Star Trek, as, as so many journeys do, right? Um, it, we watched uh, the original uh, growing up. My parents, my father uh, was a, an amateur rocket scientist in, uh, in Philadelphia um, when he was a teenager. And though uh, he went to college and did not do well, it's like a family tradition that we, we don't do well in calculus. Um, thankfully, that skipped a generation with my sons. But um, so he ended up being a, uh, a diplomat instead. But uh, he never lost his love for space. And we had, we had all of those time life books in the bookcases. And I remember we moved every three years. And I just, for me, seeing those books come out, uh, the time life books on Mars and Neptune and so forth, seeing those come out onto the shelves um, was like, okay, now we're home again. Um, and it was really sort of the, the, the constant in my life. Uh, so between, between having um, access to all of those books, um, and having Star Trek be the only show we were allowed to watch on TV, um, I <laughs> kind of indoctrinated into space and space exploration. So you've been interested in that since you were young. And then how about deciding to do space law? What led to that? So uh, as noted, I, uh, I wanted to be an astronaut as well. And uh, when calculus came up, I realized, okay, that's probably not gonna be a good path for me. And so I, um, I earned a BA in political science and went to law school um, because, you know, what, what do you do when you don't really know what you want to do? And uh, I actually practiced uh, commercial business law for 25 years. I was doing mergers and acquisitions uh, cross border, mostly UK and US, Canada and US. And um, my sons, I, you know, I remember I said that 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 I can't do calculus must skip a generation every now and then because both my sons are engineers. But when my older son was about 11 years old, he um, brought a book to me called Who Owns the Moon by somebody who's now a colleague, uh, Virgil Pop. And he said, Mom, I have decided what I want to do when I grow up. I want to be, I want to mine asteroids. And I said, that's great. And he said, there's a problem. He said, according to this book, it says you can't own property in space. So if I'm going to mine an asteroid, I want to keep the money, keep the, keep what I get. Do you think, you know, you're, you're a pretty good lawyer, I think. Do you think you could solve this by the time I grow up? And I said, okay, sure. Um, so fast forward about a decade um, when, when I was empty nesting, um, both my boys in school, I actually went back to school myself and earned my advanced law degree in um, air and space law. And uh, unfortunately, I have not solved the problem yet, but I'm still working on it uh, and, and we'll get there.